Hello everyone, my name is Seoul Citizen. In the previous time, I talked about the brief history of Korean movie industry and the shade of K-movie. As a cinephile, today I'm going to show three symbolic movies related to modern Korean history. Before I start, let me tell you how I became a passionate movie fan. It could show how people in 1990s consumed the movies. About 30 years ago, there were a number of videotape rental shops. Netflix was also that kind of company at that time. US continent was quite big, so delivery rental service could survive, but Seoul was kind of small place, so even in one district, there were more than three shops. When I was an elementary school student, I used to go there and spend a lot of time to choose the movies. I liked to see the movies, but also I liked the sequence of choosing the movie itself. It is like choosing which candy to eat. It was a very joyful event for me to see the pile of video tapes. Also, on Friday evening, technically at the midnight in Saturday, there was a show called Masterpiece in Weekends. I rubbed my eyes not to fall asleep and waited the time to watch movies like 007 series Octopussy or Golden Eye, the Roger Moore series. Since the lack of the TV channel, the movie was the only audiovisual media to see the world. Back then, I was also a Hollywood kid. Nowadays, I could choose movies at Netflix or other channels, but at that time, there were only few. And I felt like the movie was more precious at the time for me. This is the story how I became the cinephile, and the scenery how Korean people consumed the movies in 1990s. Okay, from now on, let's talk about the main three movies penetrate the second half of 20th century in Korea. First movie is Raging Ears. The legendary director Lim Guan Tak made this work in 2004. He's quite famous director because he won several prizes from Kent, Venice, and elsewhere. In recent years, he did not make any films but more. Then for the years, he made a lot of masterpieces related to Korean traditional culture. He has his reputation and, in my opinion, his images like Martin Scorsese or Steven Spielberg, old but legendary in obtaining one's own style. The movie Raging Years was the nominee of the 61st Venice International Film Festival at Competitive Section. It penetrates two decades of Korean modern history from 1950s to 1970s. It was the turbulent era for Korea because the economic development and the social change was quite radical and rapid. The movie shows the main male character's life and the audience could see the lifestyle and the social aspect at that time. In my opinion, the movie Godfather 2 shows the early 20th century, the golden era of American economical development. The main character could be the symbol of the immigrant's American dream. In the movie Raging Years, the main character is also the symbol of the miracle of hand -wrestling. Hard work, but quite rough and dark work gives the main character the success and the wealth. Victor Corleone from Corleone family and Choi Tae-wung have quite same story. They had nothing at first but their two fists. As time goes by, they beat up their obstacles and grew up as a wealthy man. I could see the life of Italian immigrants' life with markets, barbershops, and other scenery from the movie Godfather 2. At the same time, I could see the man's life with streets and radio news from the movie Raging Years. At 1950s scene, you could see the scenery of the school life of the main character. At 1960s scene, you could find the early democratic events of modern Korea with the revolution of April 19th, the first people's achievement of overthrowing the dictatorship. At 1970s scene, you could see how people lean in the era of the May 16th coup and after. The scene shows the ordinary people's life in the time of the military government, which has undisputed power, also known as President Park's era. 
Vito and Taewoon are gangsters who have the agony. They're dirty but relentless, eager of success, are quite magnificent to watch. People who are interested in the beginning period of modern Korea, this movie would perfect to appreciate. Second movie is Memories of Murder. The rising star Bong Joon-ho made this film in 2003. Everybody knows he is the director of the movie Parasite, but my first choice is not that movie but this one. Lim Guan Tak is positioned at early generation since he was born in 1930s. So I used Simi Lee that director Lim is like Martin Scorsese or Steven Spielberg who were born in 1940s. Director Lim would be the early generation of Korean movie history. In contrast, director Bong is the about two generations after director Lim's period. He was born in 1969. Maybe he would be the same generation with Quentin Tarantino or David Fincher. Let's put aside director Bong's age and talk about the movie Memories of Murder. Now my first choice is the movie which has the story from 1950s to 1970s. I could say that my second choice has the story of 1980s. In Korean history, the two decades are quite golden era with the support of three low in economic aspect. Low oil price, low interest rate, and low exchange rate gave the people in the nation quite wealthy life. Of course, it was quite hard time for Korean because the successor of the dictatorship Jeon Do Hwan tore the democratic hope with December 12th coup in 1979 and May 18th massacre in 1980s and at Gwangju, but in economical aspect Korean made an achievement and the 1988 Seoul Olympic was the symbol of the development. The side effect always follows behind the rapid economic development. The people in Korea crushed into the capital city Seoul. The radical development of Seoul made a lot of social problems and conflict. The immigrants was born outside of Seoul but living in the city were heavily suppressed by the law enforcement and social discrimination. Therefore, the dry and tough atmosphere made cruel crime like flies or swarming over the dead flesh. One of the worst crimes in modern Korean society, Hwasong serial murder incident was happened at that time. One of the criminologists argued that the suspect of the crime would be the loser from the life in Seoul, the capital city. The capital city was quite controlled place so his physical pathological suppression was remained inside. However, when he was bounced back to the suburban place Hwasong, the loosened public safety let the devil inside of him play. The movie Memories of Murder is the story of the tragedy. You could see the scene of 1980s of suburban place of Korea with the story of the crime. And the pre-modern investment technique of Korean police at that time, accurate details of that period such as foods, fashion style, the contemporary TV shows with the signal music, and other points are quite joyful point when you watch the movie. The last movie is The War of Flower. Director Choi Dong-hoon made this film in 2007. Director Lim is a director who tries to establish Korean traditional style of genre. Director Bong is director who tried to blend humor with serious issues and challenge new genre when he makes his work. Then I could define director Choi, who was born in 1971 as the master of commercial movies. He is good at making Korean style of ocean series which were directed by Steven Soderbergh. His work The Big Swindle, The War of Flower, and The Thieves are all very good action movies. Let's talk about main movie then. The movie is originated from the legendary Korean comics with the same name, so the plot was quite solid. I was a person who underestimated the value of comics before meeting this masterpiece, The War of Flower. After reading 41 books of the whole story, I felt like the back of my head was hit by a sledgehammer. I could not help but saying that it is a masterpiece. The setting of the original book is the late 1950s, but the setting of the movie is 1990s. 
I have to tell you about 1990s from now. The time is the peak of the miracle of Han River. The luxurious culture with the image of Gangnam, department stores, nightclubs was uh, the evident of the fact that South Korea was one of the wealthiest nations among Asian countries. People did not worry of their future because it will be rosy as, as before. Like the bubble economy era of Japan, even walking dogs held dollar bills in their mouths. At the time, the gambling prospered around the nation. Korean card game Hwatu originated from Japan, but we utilized the game into our own, is the subject matter of the movie. I have never seen the Hollywood gambling movie with noir genre. In the movie The World of Flower, there are joy, anger, love, and sadness. Let me tell you the summary of the plot. The main character Goni lost his sister's wedding budget because of some dishonest gamblers. With the frustration, he came out to his home and knocked the master's door to make a fortune at one stroke to pay his sister's debt. Even though he became a master of the gambling skill and made enough money to pay the debt, he could not quit. He was addicted to the tension of the gambling house and the feeling of the touch of the card. People, the movie shows the scenery of 1990s of Korea. Also, you could appreciate the atmosphere of the background gambling culture. After a few years later, Korea faced a number of obstacles. IMF crisis with national bankruptcy, the collision of Sampung department store and Sungsu bridge, and others made Korean people gloomy. The time was the terminal of unst unstoppable train. Nobody really reflected on what they are doing before then. However, the crisis was another opportunity from that time the nation could radically reform the whole system. I have introduced three movies which penetrate modern Korean society from 1950s to 1990s. From three movies, you could see the entire view of the culture. Thank you for watching and I hope you to click the subscribe and like button. Have a nice day.